In our minute encouragement talk today, I'd like to ask you, are you feeling tired and worn out in your Christian walk? Are you finding it hard being a Christian? Hard. You don't seem to always understand why God moves the way he does. And at times you seem to go through such difficulty so that you feel that you and your family are really being attacked and you can't always reason it out. Well, if that is you, I need to tell you that you're not alone. What you're going through, many of God's people are also going through. Trial and tribulation, as well as joys in our world today. In fact, the Bible makes it quite clear that the Christian life is real, serious warfare in a world under the prince of the power of the air, Satan the devil. Ephesians 2.2. It's serious warfare. In fact, think of the verses described in Luke 14.23-33. to It says, strategies are formulated. In 2 Corinthians 10.4, weapons are issued. In Ephesians 6.10, warnings are given. In Ezekiel 33-3-9, battle cries are sounded. In Colossians 2.15, opponents are disarmed. In 2 Corinthians 10.5, captives are taken. In Isaiah 51.4, prisoners are freed. In 1 Corinthians 15.57, victories are won. We cannot have victory without battle. And so we need to look beyond our problems to God's solutions. Beyond our weaknesses and inability to the greatness and the power of God. Read Isaiah 40. We need to look beyond our needs to God's provisions in life. So that we can say with the Apostle Paul in Philippians 4.3 that I have the power to face all circumstances through Christ who gives me strength. And in Romans 8.31 it says, If God be for me, who can be against me? In Romans 8.37, We are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. Know this. There is no sin in life so great that one brings to God in repentance that God's grace and forgiveness is not greater still. There are no problems in your life so large that God's answer is not greater still. There is no enemy who can attack your life where our Lord Jesus is not stronger still. For as it is written in 1 John 4, 4, Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So don't despair. Don't give in. Don't let yourself become discouraged. Persevere in your faith and in prayer as you hold to Scripture, reach out, take the hand of God, and never, never give up. May God bless you as a Christian.